I just realized my mic was muted. Uh, well, shit. Um, I said, ahoy, chat. And then I had my ears blown up by that fucking song. So I got fucking scared. Uh, but welcome. I hope everyone is doing well. Sorry for blowing your goddamn ears out. My bad. Uh, so we are here on my birthday with a keyboard build stream. I, that I have been talking about for probably a little bit too long, um, I did set up a command, exclamation point build, uh, that gives, uh, the information about the build so that, um, y'all can, so that I don't have to keep fucking saying it over and over again. Um, but I'm probably going to end up saying it multiple times today anyways. Um, so that's fun. Uh, I'm doing pretty good for Tommy. How are you? I hope you're well. I forgot that I had these cards and, uh, I found them and they're so much fun to just shuffle. It is a new, uh, fidget toy of mine. Well, returning fidget toy of mine. Anyways, I'll get into some of the explanation. So this is the keyboard itself with the case and all of the goodies. Uh, it is the ID75. I got it from AliExpress. And just some bump-ons. Looks like it's Looks like it's pretty well packaged. Let's see. Here's the PCB. We'll get to that in a bit. Oh, wait. Actually, why am I doing this? This is... We're not ready for this yet. My bad. What What am I doing? We need to make the switches. Or lube the switches, that is. So we're going to grab our little keycap opener. And we're going to get... Hold on, it'll probably be better for you guys to look at it like that. Um, we're gonna get to lubing the glorious panda switches, which are kind of like clones of the holy pandas, if you are unfamiliar with the glorious pandas. Um, and I've heard a lot of good things about holy pandas, and a lot of decent things about the glorious pandas, because they're just much easier to get in stock, and they're pretty much clones. Like, 100% clones. Uh, so I'm excited to try them, although I did realize this keyboard has 76 keys or 75 keys i got two packages if you want to take a look is it gonna focus uh, come on any well whatever uh i have there's 36 switches per box which means i have 72 switches. Now, I don't know about you, but 72 is definitely lower than 75. So I am three switches short. Luckily, I do have some uh, extra switches here. I just need to decide what I want to go with it. So we'll figure that out in a bit. Because we have a lot of lubing to do. And so we'll just get a start on with that. There we go. Alright. So this opens. This tiny little thing opens. And you, there are two, like, pretty normal, like, pretty standard, um, like, switch enclosures. There's one that's like this. I don't know if you can see it very well. Focus, please. Focus. There we go. Uh, where you have the little two, uh, two prongs, so then you're going to use this four, this four one. I'm just going to line that up. And push down on this part. Maybe. And then it kind of separates it like that, which makes it much easier to pull it apart. And then we want to leave that spring in there. We don't want to do much with that. Actually, do I want to lube the springs? Because I could lube the springs. 
I've never lubed springs. Do I want to go through the effort? Uh, but anyways, I'll, I'll think about that for a little bit. So here we have our lube. And then I have a tiny little paintbrush to uh, apply it. So I just take a, just dip it in, get a little bit on, wipe it off. And then we're going to apply it. We're going to apply it to these areas right here. These are the areas that are going to scratch the most. And let me do it on the other side. Um, some people will lube these the little bumps. I'm not going to, primarily because I'm lazy. Um, and then also, you want to lube the inside of the switches, the same spot that we just, like, looped. Also, for Tommy, get your mind out of the fucking gutter, you pervert. I think I'm gonna lube the switches. Or the... I'm already lubing the switches. I think I'm gonna lube the springs, is what I meant to say. I will set those off to the side. All right, who's ready for the some of the most tedious work you've ever done? This is going to take probably an hour and a half or more. It's great, great content. On uh, my monitor that you can't see, I have the uh, ALGS, uh, the, what is it? Uh, Apex Legends... Global series, uh, Emmy, E M. Oh, I can't think of what league it is. Um, but I have Shiv FPS open watching his team. Uh, oh shit, I just got leave on my keyboard. That's not intentional. Um, because I know that this isn't going to be the most interesting content, even for me. So, <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. Whoop. But for Tommy, this, yeah, definitely this loop would not not go well with uh the other kind of loop that you are thinking about. They would very very different applications. I mean, I guess if you're really in a pinch honestly you're going to be on think of the Flipping the cam as the play here. Alright, I will do that. Give me a quick second. I was unsure. I was kind of, like, debating. Hold on. Um, no, don't, don't, don't go off. Webcam. Uh, transform. Oh, wait, hold on. Nope. Where'd you go? There you are. Transform and flip horizontal. That's not the one I wanted. Fuck. Transform. Flip that back. Flip vertical. There we go. That, yeah. Okay. That makes much more sense. Alright. There we go. Uh, where was I? No. Oh god, no. The spring was... Magnetized. Oh, sideways. There we go. There we go. Ooh, that one got stuck in there. Get up there. More lube. Mm. 
Can you ever really have too much lube? In any application? My vote is no. Come on. Hello? Oh boy. Relubin the uh, paintbrush. Is this going to be? I think this. I might dedicate this uh, paintbrush here to lube only in the future, or for like future projects. Where is it? There it is. Oh, I hurt. Yeah, you can see that. Oh, that is confusing. Hold on. That is opposite of me. Give me a second. I just looked up as I was like putting things away, and it is backwards for me, so that is very confusing. Uh, flip horizontal. There we go. That's my perspective. That makes much more sense, at least for me. Rotami, are you able to see everything all right? Is that a yes? Cool. Obviously, this is all small anyway, so... Oh, boy. It'll definitely be a bit easier to see once I get to the actual, like, keyboard itself. Because everything's not going to be so incredibly tiny. I can adjust the lighting as well if need be. I don't know if the like shadows and stuff are kind of making it difficult. Oh shit. No, no, no. Uh this way. Fuck. God damn it. Whatever. I don't care enough. It's already been 15 minutes and I'm... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Switches in! Sorry I'm a little bit later than I had uh, initially intended. I last minute decided to go out with some friends uh, for my birthday. And um, we were out drinking until 2 a.m. We literally closed the bar. So that was fun. I don't think we were actually, I don't think we were quite out to 2 a.m. But we were basically out till 2 a.m. I think it was like 1.45 when we actually left. I don't remember quite that specifically, but I do remember we were out quite late.
I guess, at least, as I'm moving along and getting into a rhythm, it's getting a little bit faster. Okay. Of course I say that as I get a switch that doesn't want to cooperate. There we go. Oh, also, uh, just a note for anybody who might be looking into building keyboards. Uh, you don't have to lube every switch. Most switches come factory lubed. It's not the best lube, but it, like, it gets the job done. It works. It makes it so that it's not awful to type on. Uh, but these are considered enthusiast switches, and most enthusiast switches, uh, don't come factory lubed because they expect that you're going to do this process, take them apart, and ap apply your own lube. Um, so they're just like, well, might as well save some money. So this isn't necessarily a super common need. Like, when I built this keyboard, I didn't need to lube the switches because they were, uh, they came factory lubed and the factory lube works well enough. I did lube the stabilizer here, because that doesn't come factory lube. Um, but you don't need to worry about it too much. I need to get a Ziploc bag. Well, I'm not quite sure what the best way to uh, lube springs is. I know that... I know of a common, like, lazy way to do it is called bag lube, where you just put them all in a bag with a little bit of lube and uh, kind of shake it around, move them around, so you don't need to do each spring individually. And it gets it gets the job done, and it's basically indistinguishable from lubing individually, from what I understand. But it can be a little messy. Do you want to be put in a bag of lube and shaking around for Tommy? Is that what you're saying? So I wouldn't be surprised if you did. Whoop. How's the stream quality? Stream quality seems to be doing pretty good. I can't wait until... I move out and I can have like a separate, um, crafty, uh, like a separate craft, crafty fucking space. So I want to do like shit like this much more often. Come on. Thank you, Starfire. Hello, LP. How are you? I understand if you can't, uh, if you can't stay. But thank you for the, the birthday wishes. Fuck. There we go. I'm worried that I'm going to bend the, the pins here. Not that it's too big of a deal. Like, uh, you can see the little... The tiny little metal pins there. Kind of. If autofocus would work. Whatever. You can kind of see it. Um, you can bend them. And it's not that big of a deal. But. You don't want to bend them too much. Because then you'll bend them off. Woot woot. I'm doing okay. As one can be. And I'm like ooh painting. Well it's not quite painting. Uh, it's more so lube. <laughs> I mean like. I'm painting with a clear liquid, I guess. Kind of. And then vibing with music in the background. How's the music level, by the way? Is that is that fine? I'm looking at the audio levels and it seems fine, but I don't know like how distracting it is away from my voice or what have you. 
Sounds fine. Cool. I thought it, I figured it would be just by the audio levels, but I wasn't 100% sure. So I just wanted to ask. If that changes, let me know. Like if you need, if it needs to be turned down or whatever. Um, so I'm doing this stream. Once I'm done with the build stream, I'll be done streaming. It's the only bit of streaming I'm doing. Sorry. I'm sure y'all would love me to stream, like, ha like stream all fucking day. Uh, but I want to spend the evening with my family, so we're going to get, uh, some, uh, like Asian food. Because I have been craving sushi. I am so excited for sushi. Hell yes. Um. Oh, I'm so excited. And then also, my boyfriend's mom is going to make uh, lemon bars, which are some of my favorite fucking desserts. Hell yes. I'm so excited. You had sushi last night? Fuck yes, sushi's so good. Krabby Patty? Oh, uh, at a- oh fuck, what's it? Uh, why can't I think of it? Island Sushi, yeah? Our LP, are you a- are you a fan of spice, or are you a, a no spice person? No spice, you're a baby. If you put spicy mayo in <laughs> my sushi, aw oh, darn. I was gonna say, because if you like spice, uh, you can ask for a spicy Krabby Patty, where they make, like, uh, it's like a special hidden recipe kind of thing. Every sushi maker does it differently, because there's not, like, a standardized rest recipe, but it's so good. It's delicious. But if you're, if you're a baby, then it's fine. Oh, I'm I am getting a second wave of that alcohol last night. Holy shit, my tummy is not feeling, not feeling it. <laughs> I think it's the first time that I've had multiple drinks. Oh, uh, what's the... Probably... Close... No, a year. Yeah, it's weird in Latin. You're... Oh, I'm Latin, and I don't like spicy food. I love sugar and sweet. Sugar and sweet is always, always delicious. Um, but it, like... I was, I was even gonna say, like, you... Not to racial stereotype, but you're fine. You're probably fine with spice. But then I was like, no, that that's racial stereotyping, and I shouldn't do that because that's yikes. Hi, Raven. Uh, I've just talked about like my uh, the build thus far, and we've just been talking about life. And I was talking about my night last night. I went out to drink with some friends, which I haven't been able to do in quite some time. Uh, and then we're just, uh, chillin' lubin' some switches. Alright, we're probably about halfway through this first box. That sounds nice going out with friends. It was nice. It was fun, especially because me being the birthday girl, didn't have to pay a penny. That's a lie. I, I did buy myself a drink because nobody else was going up to the bar, and I was like, well, I want a drink, so I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy myself a drink. And then I tipped the bartender 100% because he was super sweet. 
And I like tipping nice when I have money. Thank you, Raven. You're the other Latin, the non-spicy girl. Give me a tray leche cake and flan and arroz dulce, aka rice pudding. Ah, I see. Rice pudding is so weird to me. Like, I've always had, like, I understand that, like, some, like, savory rice is really weird to some people. But because I've only ever really experienced, like, savory rice, like, savory flavors with rice, having sweet flavors with rice seems so wrong. And I've tried rice pudding, and it just feels so wrong. You once went out drinking and paid nothing, other people offered to pay for your drinks. That can be sketchy, though. Because when people just keep paying for your drinks... It can be hard to say no. And, uh, that's how- that's- like, I've gotten, like, absolutely smashed one time. No, fuck! Hold on. There we go. We're good. At least it didn't spill out everything. Uh, they were paying- you were with a group of friends, they were paying for them. I mean, yeah, but like, I was with a group of friends and I got smashed. Have a good one and gotta go. Much hugs. It was nice talking with you, LP. You're not in the right area for random people to pay for your drinks. That's fair. I don't really- I've, I don't think I've ever had random people pay for my drinks. Like, it's always friends. But, like, you know, when one person gets a little too drunk, they start buying drinks for their friends, kind of egging them on, and then it's hard to say no- fuck. I didn't mean to fully do that. Hold on. You weren't old enough at the time when you were with your friends to drink? Ah, I see, okay. God damn it, whatever. I give up. There we go. I have been staring at these keyboard parts for close to a month at this point, and I'm so excited to actually build. I've thought so many times about just skipping the keyboard build stream and just building it myself. But I was, at the same time, I was like, this makes great content. Especially because people are, like, people who aren't into their keyboards are kind of curious about it. Ooh. There we go. There we go. You don't know anything about keyboard building? Well, basic- okay, I can give a little explanation about what we're doing right now. So right now what we're doing is we are looping up switches. Uh, and this isn't necessarily a normal process, like, it's not necessary for most keyboard builds, uh, because most switches that you buy, like, most normal con consumer switches that you buy will come pre-lubed. Like, they will come with some amount of lube on them, um, and that's generally referred to as factory lubed in the keyboard community, um, and, like, Sometimes people will take those apart and lube them up because they like they have a very particular um lube that they like. 
like they've given it a bunch of tries and they found like this is this is the one lube that they like so they want to get rid of the other lube um but it's not incredibly common uh whereas these switches basically need to be lubed because these are considered like enthusiast switches so they kind of while they are manufacturing them they kind of assume that you're going to lube them yourself so they don't come with any factory lube so this is a process that most people can probably skip i however cannot i mean technically i could but it wouldn't be the best typing experience. It would be a pretty mediocre typing experience. In order to get the most out of these switches, you really need to loop them up. So that's what we're doing right now. And then after we've looped up all the switches, we will loop the springs over here. You see how I'm just taking out all of the springs and not putting them back in? We'll have to do that later. Because I want to leave the springs so that they ha so that those have a smoother travel. Um, it, it's it'll be my first time ever lubing springs. I've lubed switches before, never lubed a spring, so it'll be interesting. Is it to make it sound nicer? Uh, partial, partially to for sound, but mostly for like feel. Uh, because if you don't use lube, it can feel kind of scratchy, because it, at that point it's like 100% plastic on plastic. Um, like, here. So if you listen, and then, give me a second to put one together. Hold on. I guess it doesn't really sound different, but it feels different. It definitely feels different. It can be a little- yeah, okay, so you're able to hear it, that's good. It can be a little hard to hear the difference. Um... Yeah, it sounds less sharp. I guess is a good way to explain it, yeah. That sharpness that you're hearing is felt as scratchiness. Like, just plastic rubbing together. Um... Like, that's what it feels like when you're typing. So it just like gives a much nicer overall feel. Um, and if there are any imperfections, lubing can also help like make those imperfections less noticeable. So. But yeah, lubing switches isn't necessary for probably most keyboard builds, but if you want to do like, you're always free to do it. Um, but it's just, like, you need to keep an eye out if you had, like, if you're ever thinking of building a keyboard, keep an eye out if your switches come factory lubed or not. Generally, if they don't mention anything about being lubed, they're probably factory lubed. Um... But if they say not factory lubed, then obviously they're not factory lubed. Keep an eye on you can just like keep an eye on the product page to figure that out. Like pretty much every large key ca or uh key switch maker, like Kale, Gateron, Otemu, um Cherry. Who else? Those are, I guess, the biggest ones. Um, at least that I can think of. Uh, they pretty much all come with lube. As long as you're getting, like, the actual... Uh, ooh, shit. Uh, like, the actual Gatoron or whatever branded stuff. Like, if you were to get a Gatoron yellow, it'll probably... It'll, it'll come lubed. Uh, but, like, the switches here, these are 
te- these are made by Gateron. Oh wait, these ones do come factory lubed, but you can like because they're like more custom switches, you're able to decide whether or not you want them factory lubed. Because you're getting a custom manufacturing. Ooh. Oh, whatever. I'm already getting so over the, over the putting it back together. Oh, shit. Oh, there we go. Hold on. I want to check something because... Like I said, my friends were out pretty, pretty late. Uh, so Sentient is probably asleep. Mexi's probably a sweet, a sweet, asleep. Um, Blades is awake. That's surprising. Uh, and then Kip is probably asleep because he's not online. I'm gonna join other streams, so if people wanna talk, they're free too. But, no pressure. There we go. 27 missed frames! Come on, computer, do better. I can't believe you would miss 0.0% of my frames. I wonder when those frames dropped. Or, missed. What? Like, I haven't done anything that's particularly, like, what's it, demanding? I don't know. Oh, it might have been when I was doing the, uh, what's it? What's, when I was, like, moving the stuff around. Like, I, I had the cam flipped, so it looked opposite, so you weren't really, like, viewing it from my perspective. You were kind of, like, looking out from the other side, if that makes any sense. And that might have been when the rendering leg came in. Because that would make sense. Alright, so we are almost done with this box. So that'll be 36 of 72 switches done. I also still need- to, oh shit, that's not the right way? Oh, that could be bad. I think it's fine. Um, I also need to decide what other switches I want. Because I have 36 switches, and this keyboard needs 75. So I'm three short. Did I say I, am, I have 36 switches? No, I meant 36 times 2, which is 72. So I'm three switches short. But I have a bag of other switches from, like, when I was previously doing, like, trying to figure out other switches, like, what I, what I kind of like the feel of. So I don't know. I guess once we're done with here, or what, done with these switches, we can take a look. At, uh, the other switches. Oh. Bitch. There we go. Come on. These switches do not want to cooperate. These last few are really giving me a fight, aren't they? There we go. 
Um, Hold on. I have had a song stuck in my head, and I want to add it into the queue again. I started with that song, and I want it again. There we go. It is in the queue. TikTok has gotten this song stuck in my head. God damn it. Nothing new, though. Ooh. There we go. Ooh. Maybe I should uh hold off on food for a little bit because that alcohol is making a resurgence. <laughs> All right, last switch of the box. 43 minutes in. Wow, my guess of like an hour and a half to loot these switches was actually pretty spot on. At least if I keep up at this pace and don't get too distracted. Oh, this way, don't put it in the backwards way. Do you guys have like a comfort comfort band? Imagine Dragons is kind of my comfort band. And I know that I know that Imagine Dragons can be very polarizing. Like some people love them, some people hate them. Not for like them being a bad like being bad people, just like people just don't like their music. But um Alright, that's there's box one. Um But like I got really into Imagine Dragons when I was in middle school. So like seventh grade should be about twelve, I wanna say. Right, I think. I think that's I think that's how it works. Um Anybody want a panda sticker? So I, I don't really want it. <laughs> Your favorite band is You Me at Six. Seen them a few times. Oh. I'm, I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm just jamming. The Backyardigans had so many good songs. They didn't need to go as hard as they did. But I appreciate them. I remember the backyard again and high key loving it. Even as I got older, I don't. That was a one kid show that I never really grew out of. Like I just really enjoyed it. And I think part of it comes down to just like the whole basis of it is pretty much to uh, like kind of explore different music types 
around the world, which I find really cool. We go from castaways to the bisexual anthem. Nice. Don't forget, everyone must stand for the bisexual anthem. As long as you are able, as long as you are willing and able, I can't tell you what to do. Oh, there we go. Uh, here we go. Gimme! Oh no. I think quite a pile of springs here. I guess that's what happens when you have 76 switches to lube. Okay, yeah, those pins are okay. When I opened that, those pins kind of jammed my finger, and I was worried that I bent them. Not that it's too big of a deal. I just don't want to break them. Because then I would be down to 71 switches. Another, uh, well, I guess not a fan, but comfort artist of mine is John Bellion. And AJR. That one's a band. Speaking of which, let's listen to their, uh, new album. Well, relatively new album. No, I don't want to shuffle it. I want to listen to it in order. The correct way to listen to any album. Oh, there we go. I know that AJR can be polarizing as well. Some people very much don't like their sound, but I find it very interesting and cool. They're generally just... I can re I recognize that some of their lyrics seem to be just kind of like... Like, trying too hard to be, like, woke or edgy. But I really like their sound. And how they, like, play with new sounds and new ways to make sounds. And especially in this album, they play a lot with different timbres and, like... Uh, switching between them, or like... Come on. Like, fading into a new timbre, which is really cool. I can't remember if this song has some. Oh, it does, yeah. Like, listen here. Hold on. Like that little fade between the, the violin and the uh trumpet. I find that so interesting how they how they like switch between those timbres. It's so cool. I need to get some more lube on this.
Oh, come on. Close up. There we go. Oh, and if this song seems like a uh, like mashup, that's because it is. It's just a... What's it? It's an overture, which is kind of like a mashup of different songs to make the rest of the album seem more cohesive. Come on. Why is this so hot? It's not even that hot out today. But it's really hot in my room. Probably just my computer? Whatever. I'll match them up later. What? Nope. The way they use, like, the trumpet and the, uh, drum set to kind of fill in the lyrics. Hold on. Um, it kind of reminds me of that, like, oh, I can't remember what it's called. It's, like, phantom lyrics? Where you take, like, a, an existing like, mp3, and then convert it to a, like, a MIDI song. Like, here, hold on. Uh... We'll come back to you, Bummer Land. Give me a second. Um... Uh, what's it called? It's called... Uh... Phantom? Is it not? Is it? It's not Phantom Lyrics. Phantom Lyrics. Um. What is it called? I swear we just saw it not too long ago. I'm not sure where we saw it. Is it under memes? Curse? Hmm. Oh, come on. I want... Um, all-star midi. Okay, here we go. I found, I found something in a, as an example. Stop it! Do you hear, like, the phantom lyrics? Because I can hear them very clearly. 
granted, I think you have to know what the song is to like actually hear them. But it's so interesting how that how you can like hear those phantom lyrics. <laughs> Alright, we'll get back to uh There we go. Alright, we'll get back to looping. Did I loop this? I did not. Oh boy. I've been getting too distracted in this past like 15 minutes. Alright, maybe my estimation of uh hour and a half was a little optimistic. Come on. Oh. I think. Wait, one, hold on. Give me a second. I want to know when qualifying for... When does that start? Oh, it does start at 1. Okay, cool. I want to watch the qualifying of uh, the F1 Montreal on my second monitor. Don't worry, I have the desktop audio muted, so I won't get a DMCA or anything like that. We're good. Oh, shit. You've got to watch multiple streams. Uh, I I am watching multiple streams while I am streaming. And listening to music on top of it. Is that what we want? I'm trying to watch... Oh, here we go. Alright, we got it. In an hour, I'll be watching the Ubisoft Forward my stream and someone else's. <laughs> That's of everyone is streaming then? Wait. Oh, that's if everyone is streaming then. I'll probably be streaming still. That's not what I want. Oh, hold on. There's no... I want to watch F1! Let me watch F1, please.
Fucking hell. Why is it so hard to watch F1? To be fair, I am in the US. Uh, no. That's not what I want. Come on. Just let me watch the qualifying. Why is it so hard? That's the same. That's down. God damn it. This is IndyCar. That's not what I want. No, oh, excuse me. Why is it? Ah! I just want to watch F1! CBS. Oh, come on. Main event? What's the main event? No, that's not what I want. I don't want IndyCar. Uh... There we go. I'm just trying to let these people know what's going on with uh, these streams because... There we go. Alright. Is it too much to ask to have a stream to watch F1 Montreal qualifying? Seems so. I guess no F1 for me.
This person's saying that there is no F1 this week, but that's... But that's not right, because it's the Montreal Grand Prix. They might not have realized that, uh, the Montreal GP. I'm trying to keep up with this chat, and I have no idea what's happening. Wait, the Canadian GP was cancelled? And, uh, Grand Prix F1. Oh, yeah, look at that. Fuck! That's sad. Sag. All right, well... There we go. All right. Well, we got that figured out at least. Oof. My thumbnails are going to be pretty damaged after this. I feel like I need, like, Tums or something. Come on. Whatever. Before I push them down, I'm just double-checking all these pins to make sure that they don't bend too much. Hopefully at all, but... Well, like, if I bend them, or if they're bent, and then I push them down, they could just get more bent, which is not good. Oh no. My fingers are getting all luby now. Oh no. Do I have a, uh, like a washcloth or something? I'm not seeing anything. Fuck. I know you guys can't see it, but over here I have my pile of, uh, of switches, and it is getting quite large. <laughs> once I'm done with this, once I'm done with these switches, I need to go downstairs and grab a bag, and I'll probably also grab some Tums. To hopefully help calm my stomach a bit. Mm. 
Um, there was something that I was thinking about. I can't remember what it was, though. I wasn't focusing on what I was thinking about for, like, half a second, and I lost it. Love ADHD. Uh, this one? Maybe I'll remember as I'm moving up. Oh, I just remembered because of how the shadows look. Um, I'm gonna quick move the lighting up a bit so that I can do it closer to the camera and you guys can see kind of more what's going on. I'm just adjusting the lights a little bit. Hold on. This one, this one up. There we go. Eesh. Hopefully you'll be able to see a little bit better now. Come on. Oh wait, wrong way. That could have been bad. If I tried to force that, that could have been very, very bad. I just reached for the lube uh, and almost took a drink of it. That could have been really bad. Thank God I didn't, though. Ah, shit. My fingers are just getting slightly more luby as time goes on. This will be interesting by the time I'm done. Hold on, we're going to start a prediction. Uh, no. Will I be able to confidently hold a switch by, oh. Oh boy, I don't know. Maybe I won't set a prediction, because I don't know how to keep it in the fucking... What's it? In the character limit, because you can only do 45 characters, which is kind of bullshit. So I think I need to turn this down a little bit more. There we go. Boy, this is not. There we go. That one was not looping up very well.
one. Oh fuck. Oh, we're so close. Is there all we have left? Well, at least from these switches. And then we can decide what switches we want after that. What other switches we want. I'm very happy that I got this thing. Even though it was kind of expensive, I think it was like $20. Uh, it has been very useful. Because I remember trying to open these up without like a tool like this uh and it's awful do not recommend it it is thoroughly not enjoyable especially with these ones because like these prongs are so small because you can see those prongs are so small those uh are a Truly a bitch to open. There's some that have a bit larger pieces that you that you pull away, and those aren't quite as bad. Because they have more room to kinda you have more wiggle room. These are truly awful. And don't get me wrong, the other ones with the bigger clips, those aren't fun either, but they are at least doable without a tool like this. Doing a bunch of switches with these prongs without that, without this tool, d would not recommend. Honestly, that's the main reason why I didn't lube these switches. Oh, come on, focus. There we go. Um, because they had like this four prong and I didn't have this tool by then. Um, and also like I knew that they were factory looped pretty decently so I didn't feel too obligated to do it. Uh, but I probably would have if I had this tool just because it makes it so much easier. Come on, there we go. How many we got left? One, two, three, four, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Hog! Countdown. Oh shit. Come on. I just realized how I have the light set up kind of makes like a little bit of a vignette around. Which is entirely like accidental and uh, just by happenstance. Looks pretty nice though. Honestly, like this, this uh, camera with this lighting looks pretty good for a, a uh, like it's just a Logitech C920. What you can do with the Logitech C920 and just some damn good lighting is kind of nuts. I didn't realize how good it could be. Come on, there we go. I'm trying to think of like what key like what key switches I have that I can use to supplement these because I have let's see. I have some some more of these switches I think. And with these tactiles it'd probably be smart to also, like to pair it with other tactiles, other strong tactiles. 
I'm not sure. Oh, I think I smell the lemon bars. Oh my god. The, yeah, I smell the lemon bars. I got hit with, like, the... The fucking crust, and now I can smell the lemon. Oh, yes. Lemon bars are, are my favorite dessert. They're so fucking good. It's your favorite dessert. Cake is pretty good. I don't know. It's not my favorite. Brownies are pretty good. But I think brownies have to be, like, in moderation. Because it can be very easy to, like, have too much chocolate. You know? Maybe. I don't know if any of you all uh, feel the same way. Come on! Oh shit, oh shit. I can't wait to show you all the rest of the build. I know I kind of teased the, uh, the keycaps already on stream. And I believe I also teased the case on stream. But I haven't fully shown everything on stream. So this should be cool. Once it's all together. Oh shit. Oh! Explosion. You know what I should probably do? I wonder if zooming in would be... Mm, I don't... See, I don't... If I had a a camera with an actual optical zoom, I'd probably be zoomed in. But I don't. And I... Like, this is already 720, which... On a full screen, like 1080p screen, can already look kind of meh. So I don't want to limit that anymore. You know? Am I just giving myself a justification to buy a better camera? I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. A Christmas present, though. Possibly. Or if I can find, like, a really good deal on a used one. Or, like, an open box or something like that. I'll probably keep an eye out. It's not gonna be, like, a priority. But... I guess it's worth keeping an eye out to upgrade. Ow! Fuck. That hurt. Yeah. Alright, we got two more. They're so close. One more! Oh, 
Ugh. Come on. There we go. All right. We got that done. All right. That is all of the glorious pandas moved. Now, well, I'm going to close this so I don't accidentally knock it over again while we try to figure out what our next switch is going to be. All right. That's all of them. All right, so here we have some like normal switches. We got some blacks and greens. Greens are clicky. Not really looking for clicky. These are all kind of out of it. Uh, here are some Zelios, I believe. No, kind of like Zelios clones. Hale Pro. He's clicky. These are clicky. Nope. I don't want clicky. I want tactile. Those are in the running. These are speed. Here, okay, so here are the leftover Zelios. Those are in the running, I guess. Oh, shit. Here's some more. These clicky. Those are clicky. Let's see, these are clicky, right? Yeah, those are clicky. Clicky. If you can't tell, I got a lot of clicky switches to try and uh, ended up not liking them. These are great. I only have one left. These are uh, Gateron Clears, which are also known as uh, Featherweight. Uh, it's like 35, 35 grams, I want to say. And I use them on the outer side of my gamepad. Like, hold on. Ow. Um. E. Let me... There we go. So I use them on the outside. Uh, because, like, obviously your pinky is your weakest finger. So I use them on the outside so that I can, like, hold and my finger won't get fatigued. But I only have one left, so... And also... With this keyboard, I won't really need to be holding it, so I guess not really needed. Welcome back, Bortami. How are you? I'm trying to decide on what switch I want to use. So I have three of these, uh, Zy are these Zylons? Or, yeah, these are Zylons. These are Otemu. Hmm. I don't know what I want. Oh shit. Um... I suppose I could use these up. That would make sense. First of all, exclamation point son. Did it pop up? And second of all, I wasn't paying attention. Did it pop up? It does. That is not correct. Whichever is easiest to press, but not too easy to press. I think I'm just going to use these to use them up. 
I feel like that makes sense. Alright, I think I'm just gonna do that. That makes sense to me. And then these use... Yeah, this four-prong style. Fuck! Whoa! Where'd the top... Where'd the top go? I don't know if you saw that, where Tommy, if it happened too quick. But it just, like, I pushed down and it just flew. What? I can meow too, kitty. You're really needy, aren't you? You even know you're needy. And you know what? You are not ashamed about it. I'm just gonna... Okay. I'm being much more careful now, because I don't want to launch it again. Whoop. But yeah, like, I pushed down on the switch, and it just rocketed up. Just like, whoosh. I think it went, like, right next to the camera, too. Nope, wrong way. Whoop. I need to find that other top housing. Because it's going to be kind of hard to use a switch without a top housing, you think? Nah, it's gonna be easy, smile. Uh, here. Okay, there we go. Three switches. I'm gonna try to look for that housing real quick. I have no idea where this went. So what keys didn't get the ultra something switches? What? Oh, I think I see it. The orange ones? What about them? I found it! Oh wait, you didn't assign the keys yet, did I? No, I didn't. They are just in a pile. Alright, so here... Here they are. 
There we go. All right, I will be right back. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, oh, wait, I have this, but I want to grab some tums, so I'm going to be right back. Give me a quick second. All right, this is the last song of the album, so I got to wait for this to play out, and then we can do that. Way to start off with a gay-ass song, hell yeah. Okay, and then I leave, and my cat instantly takes my seat. Fucking asshole. All right, I'm back. Nope, buddy. I'm sorry. You're going to have to sit on my lap if you want to sit there. There you go, kitty. Kitty says hi. Hi. All right, so what we're going to do... We're gonna bag loop these switches. I have no idea. I've never done this, so we're gonna just gonna give it a shot. So from what I understand, you just throw like a bit of lube in the bag. Kind of move it around. So then you get like kind of luby in the bag. And then you just kinda Yeet the, the springs in. I hope this is how you do it, because uh, otherwise I'm fucked. Kitty is very content. I might need a little bit more lube. There we go. That's not as good. There we go. There, and there, and there. I think that's all of them. So then we leave a decent amount of air in there. Seal it up. And shake. We're gonna skip this song, because we just listened to this album. Chick 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 Good enough. I'm calling it. I'm calling it good enough. I hope it's good enough. Ah shit. Now I don't have hold on. Give me a second. I need I needed something to put the to roll these out onto. Uh, but I couldn't stand up because I have a kitty on my lap. So I needed to roll my way over there. Look at that. Oh, hold on. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. There we go. Alright, here we go. 
Now for the actual assembly. Wrong way, this way. There we go, first one. This one, this thing takes a little bit more focus because I gotta... I gotta make sure to align things properly, otherwise they won't work right. Yeet, indeed. There's three. Kitty is very content. Just 49 to go. Nice one. I also have a... Uh... Nope, not that one. This emote. Mm -mm. Ah. I really don't want to lose these springs. I knew losing these springs would be hell right now. Kitty is cleaning himself on me. Kitty feels safe. Kitty knows that I'm talking about him. Nice. Nice. I'm not sure if the whole spring lubing is going to make much of a difference. Well, we'll find out, I guess. It's These switches are feeling really nice as I'm, like, trying them out to make sure that they're working properly. They're feeling so smooth. Ooh. And the... Just the... The fucking intensity of that tactileness is so amazing. So for those of you who don't know like much about switches, uh, you want to make sure that the tactile bit, these little bumps that you see, uh, that is facing the copper side of the switch. So like right by the copper. Uh, oh, so these little bumps that you saw are facing the copper bit because that is what causes, like, those little bits are what push the contacts to make the actuation. If they were facing this way, one, it wouldn't push down. Like, when you try to push, it gets stopped. So it's it's kind of foolproof. You can see that it kind of gets stopped there. Um, and also, it just wouldn't do anything. Are you too warm, buddy? Me too. You're fucking warm. Does that make sense? Oh, he's going into the closet. 
It's okay, buddy. It's Pride Month. You don't need to stay in the closet. Cap of pride. Shit. White people happy. Man, I'm gonna use the F slur, but I don't care if Twitch will ban me. <laughs> I mean, I won't ban you. If that's anything. Because I know you're queer. Also, hi, Sandiant. How are you? You're coming right at the tail end of the boring bit of stream. <laughs> Feeling, feeling decent after uh, last night. Did you take a nap? Cause I wouldn't blame you if you took a nap after you dropped me off. Yeah, after I went back home, I slept until noon. <laughs> nice. I didn't have that luxury. I had to get ready to stream as promised. Also, I just really wanted to build this keyboard. Honestly, if I didn't want to build this keyboard so bad, I probably would have canceled stream. Uh, but I really fucking want to build this keyboard finally. I've been staring at it for a month. It appears that I was slightly off with my expected... Um, like, what's it? L lubing time. Okay, uh, there we go, cool. Bro, it's gonna be 70, or 30, 73, 37C on Friday? What is that in Fahrenheit? I'm pretty sure that about 100 F. That okay. That's a press. That's a press F moment. Fuck that! It was 90 and humid here, and that was too much. Yeah, and I know you guys don't have AC. Oh my god! Okay, I have three springs. Okay, there's okay. Come on, I got two springs. There we go. Hell yeah, we got it. Uh, but like, speaking of the fucking heat, uh, a couple days ago I had a guest at my hotel come, and they traveled from North Carolina, and they came when it was 90 and humid, like Sentient had said, and, uh, he was, the guest said, I'm from North, I drove here from North Carolina and it's hotter up here than it ever gets down there on a regular basis. And I was like, welcome to Wisconsin, where our temperature delta is a hundred degrees over the year on the regular. <laughs> Obviously a hundred degrees Fahrenheit. A hundred degrees delta with fucking Celsius would be Nuts. Wait. BRB gonna melt in a hundred or two hundred and twelve degrees Fahrenheit. True. Well, you wouldn't melt. Your body would you'd just boil from the inside. Not quite as bad. You know?
No shit. Why is this one was this switch was giving me so much trouble? Holy hell. Oh, what? There's a birthday tag? There's a fucking birthday tag. I added it. We're good. Hell yeah. Thanks for that notice, for Tommy. I was unaware that that was a thing. Uh, you are re-adding your tags for stream later because Twitch removes them for some reason. Wow, way to plug your stream, for Tommy. Fucking self promotion in my chat. Mm -mm. Just kid I'm just kidding. <laughs> I ha d generally don't have much of a problem with uh my tags being removed. I mean, if you aren't following for Tommy, there's something wrong with you. Fair. Remove that birthday tag. What? It's my birthday though. Oh, my fingers are getting so slimy. <laughs> it doesn't help that I lubed the fucking springs, too. Literally everything I'm touching right now is lubed. You'd say the opposite? What? Oh, if you are following... Yeah, Ubi Forward is today. Raven was talking about it earlier. Eh. Guess you're watching the recap. You have Ubi Forward on another tab so you can get the charm. There's a charm for it? Of course there's a charm for it. What am I on about? R6 Extraction Charm. Ooh, that sounds tempting. Ooh. Also, Siege Golden Fan Charm. It, please tell me it's like a fucking... Fan like this, that's just gold. Please. Nope, normal, normal electric fan. Damn! I think it'd be funnier if it was a hand fan. I mean, like, it's still funny that it's an electric fan, but, like... Where does the f term fan for, like, liking something, where does that come from? Does anybody know? This is getting significantly harder to do as I, like, the more I touch these things. 
Oh no. I'm frustrated that my now playing isn't working. I want my now playing to work. Like the now playing widget. It's so nice when it works, but when it's not, it's frustrating. Because, like, if you do exclamation point song, it's probably just going to show up as closer. Yeah, it's just showing up as closer. You made your own now playing widget? Yeah, but this one's so fucking cool. It looks so cool. So I keep do like doing the work out of frame, like I said, as I continue to. Let me move. Yeah, there we go. A little bit more where I'm working now. Um, the more I do it, the less control I have, so I have to be more, um, like smaller motion or like smaller range of motion. There we go. Come on, fuck. There we go. Oh my god, come apart, thank you. I also think that the coffee that I had is starting to like really hit. Which is making me shaky as well. Or maybe that's just the lack of sleep. Or it could be a compounding effect. All of the above. Probably. I am focusing so hard, you actually have no idea. <laughs> I really ha hope I have all the springs here. You're gonna go? Alright. Uh, have a good stream, Vortami. Thanks for hanging out. Come on. Come on. Oh, also, Sentience, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm chilling in, uh, other streams if you want to talk at all. Up to you. No pressure. Uh, when I went when I went to my parents, I would I just chilled there for a little bit after, like chilling, uh, or after you dropped me off, sentient, and I was talking about like where we went, what I had, 
And I was telling them about that, like, coffee, peanut butter stout that we had. And how, like, it wasn't, like, it sounds, it sounds gross. But I was so intrigued that I had to try it. And then it actually turned out to be, like, an interesting flavor profile. Not something that I would drink on the regular, or maybe at all, but interesting. And, um, they were all kind of intrigued as well. And then I told them about the banana, like, mixture with it, and they that that turned them off. They were like, mm-mm, nope, we're not doing that. Even though I thought it kind of helped mellow out the whole, uh, like, peanut butter made it not as heavy. It was still heavy, but not quite as heavy. You know? Also, when did we leave the bar? It was like 1.30, wasn't it? Or was it like 1.45? I know we were there pretty late. I just can't remember when exactly. I remember most of the night, but some of the details are a little fuzzy. That's when you know you had a, a, a good night. You remember it, but some of the details are a bit fuzzy. Oh, we're so close. Actually, we're not. We're so far away. We're about halfway through of the springs, I think. Alright, I gotta spend some time separating springs. Oh no. There we go. R6 extraction September 16th. Ooh. Did they say how long it's going to be? Like how long it's going to last? No idea. Probably like a week or two if I had to guess. These fucking springs. Alright, I separated a good chunk of them. Happy birthday, gamer. Thank you, pumpkin. Much appreciated. I'll be spending the evening, like the later evening, with my family. Um, but I might be down for like, a little bit of gaming before we hang out, or before, like, I spend the evening with my family, depending on when I finish this. Honestly, these, the switches part here is the most tedious part, so... Once I'm done with this, it should go relatively quick. We'll see, though. It's fine, we can game tomorrow. True. Also a good point. Take your time and don't fuck up. Oh, I'm not go I'm not rushing at all. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't want to fuck this up. I have been looking at these parts for about a month. I do not, I want this to be an amazing keyboard. Not, probably not end game, but pretty damn close.
It also doesn't help that, uh, I, with everything being lubed. So, oh shit. Oh no, 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 no. I put this on backwards. Fuck. We're good. We're good. I am focusing. There we go. Oh, shit! My name is Cheese. Thank you so much for the raid. Much, much appreciated. Oh my gosh, how is your stream? Queen Frig, hello! I am building a keyboard right now, and it is also my birthday. I have been looking at these parts for a month. Visitors to the cafe. I love it. Yeah, I have my whole, um, like, thing. My whole stream is kind of themed around having a cafe. Uh, if somebody follows. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, I have my alerts on. Uh, you'll see that, like, my follow. Hey, there it is. Look at that. It's got, like, the, it's like the little, uh, like, welcome bell. You know, like a little star bell. Thank you, uh, Cheese and Ro Rodby, Rodby, uh, for the follows. Much appreciated. Uh, and then the sub alert, uh, which nobody has to do. Don't worry, I'll explain it. Uh, is like, um, what's it? Like making a latte, which I and quite enjoy, and uh, the. Bits and tip alert are like grinding beans. Was there meant to be a spell sound because you didn't hear anything? Oh no. Hold on. Uh I I'm not sure I can guess your theme. I, I don't like it seems a little rough. Alerts. Monitor and output. What? Oh! I see why. I would say cheese, but it's actually neon. Oh! Okay, I see why. Okay, so I have a... It's, I have a stream... Like, that I'm watching in the background, because I'm watching ALGS. Uh, and I have desktop audio muted, but apparently my alerts run through desktop audio. So... Uh, but Roro Keyboards, thank you for the follow! So that's why it's not- why you're not hearing it. Hold on, I can just- I'm gonna mute this then, and unmute that, so you can actually hear the alerts. I didn't realize that. Thank you for the heads up, cheese. Ah! Uh. Oh shit. Fuck. Mistakes are being made! Oh, but, uh, Austin, earlier I was saying, uh, how my, uh, like, my fingers are very luby right now, because I use this, this oil, to grease in here, this, and the springs that I'm touching. So basically everything that I am touching is filled with oil. So it is making it very difficult to, uh, do anything, to be frank. So a good time indeed. Uh, Queen Frank, I'm doing pretty well. It's been a pretty nice birthday. Uh, last night, I went out for drinks with some friends. Um, Sentient Nut was one of them, if he's in here. Oh my gosh, Roro Keyboards, holy shit! Holy shit, thank you so much for the raid! That is so sweet! 
Uh, Just Jordan, thank you for the follow. Sphinxer, thank you for the follow. Royal Keyboards, thank you for the uh, happy birthday wishes. Patness the Sadness. That's such a sad name. Uh, but thank you for the follow. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, Girls? I'm gonna go with Girls. Uh, thank you for the follow. Small Chungus. It doesn't that kind of. Isn't Chungus, like, inherently big? Uh. Gerald. Okay. Sounds good, Gerald. <laughs> uh, and then. Nikoim? Nikoim? Did I miss anybody? Did I miss anybody? Uh. I'm struggling. I have no. I'm. Ha I'm having so much trouble pronouncing that that name. Just Jordan, thank you, thank you for the bits. Here's the. That, that's the bit. Oh, thank you so much. Oh my God, this is nuts. Gerald of Riften, thank you so much for the follow. This fuck, this stream is fucking nuts. It's just been so chill, and now it's so much less chill. <laughs> much birthday indeed. Pog slide. Uh, all right. Don't worry, I won't break my keys. Sorry for ruining the chill party. It's okay. See, now it's an actual party. Sphinx, thank you. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Oh, wait, I already grabbed a spring. Hold on. You have to head to bed. I hope you have an amazing birthday and enjoy the rest of the build. Thank you, uh, Patness the Sadness. Hopefully you can uh, become Patness the Happiness. Imagine Rora lets all leave. Ah! <laughs> Sag. You're very hungry though, she so you shall get food? Yeah, no worries. Speaking of food, I need I need food. Uh and go sleep, have fun with the build. Thank you, Gerald. Have a nice night. Everybody who need who is needing to go to bed, feel free, it's okay. Uh thank you for the raid, thank you for chilling, thank you for the follows. Have a nice night. And sweet dreams. Same here, it's 3 a.m. Gonna head to bed. Have a great end of stream. Sphinxer, you have a nice night. Sweet dreams. Uh, just Jordan, thank you for the hundred bits. Much appreciated. I'm gonna head off too, it's late. Alright, have a nice night. Sweet dreams. Wait, is this backwards? Is this back? No, it's not backwards. It's right. We're good. Good night, have a nice day. You too. Uh, there we go. Oh, hold on. Austin, if you're still here, I'm chilling in uh, other streams if you want to, like, talk or whatever. Up to you, no pressure. What is that, like, dog emote? What the hell? Roroke Chewy Nani? Is that your dog? Is that your dog, uh, fucking Roro keyboards? Cause if that's your dog, that's fucking a your dog is adorable. We're so close. We're so close to the actual, like, really fun part where we actually get to see the build 100% come together. No thanks, just vibing. Yeah, no worries. Figured I'd offer. Oh my. Fuck. So lube is going to be the end of me. Holy shit. Oh no. Woo! Funny, no it's normally at the beginning? What? Lube? 
Oh my god. Austin. You're lucky I like you. Oh my god. What the hell? Get your mind out of the gutter. Uh, for anybody who just got here, which is most of you, I'm sure, uh, I am building an ID-75, which I got from AliExpress, um, and I'm using Glorious Panda switches with Crytox 1514 lube, um, and Matteo? I want to say is how you pronounce it, uh, slash dev tty keycaps. Uh, you can see it in exclamation point build. There you go. Uh, okay, I need to spend some more time separating some switches. Fuck. Fuck. I have these on a, like, on a Kleenex so that they don't get lube everywhere, but at the same time, it's just making it hard to pick them up. Especially with my already luby fingers. There we go. Woo. There we go. On to more spring filling. Uh, alright. Housing. Oh shit. Oh no. Ooh. Holy shit. Okay, how many followers did we just get? Was it like 11? Something crazy like that? Hold on. We're gonna go and count. Uh, so today we have gotten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, eleven. Look at that. We're close. We're getting pretty close to that a uh, hundred, hundred goal. We are at eighty-three right now. Oof. There we go. Awesome. Oh, I'm so... I'm getting so giddy to, like, get on to the, the next bit. Um, I have been wanting to do this build for quite some time. I've been looking at different switches and parts and all that for months. Uh, and then I got all the parts like a month ago. But I kind of wanted to do a build stream. And I figured that the best time to do a build stream would probably be a Saturday. Just because it's the when I would have the most time and other people would have the most time. But I, ever since I made the decision to do it on a Saturday, I've had to work every Saturday. Which makes that a little hard to do it on a Saturday. So I took off on my birthday, and now we're doing a, a build? We're finally building it. Especially because part of these parts, namely the keycaps, because they are expensive, um, were a birthday present for my boyfriend, which is awesome. He's so sweet. He doesn't understand my hobbies, but he supports them. As long as they don't get too expensive. So I just keep the prices to myself, for the most part. Because otherwise, it would be kind of yikes. Like, he already knows that my hobbies are expensive, because my hobbies are, like, audio equipment. Oh, shit. Uh, mechanical keyboards. Um, 
fountain pens, computers. What else is there? Those are like the big ones, and uh, those are expensive hobbies. <laughs> oh shit. Very easy to spend a whole paycheck on one of those hobbies. Let alone having all of them. But I have to be relatively uh, tame right now because we're saving up for a, an apartment and all the stuff that goes along with getting your first apartment. Furnishings. Kitchen stuff. Luckily, we're getting some help from, like, friends and family. Mostly. Primarily family, but still. Shit's expensive. Where are we at? Two and a half hours just to do the loop switches. Oh my god. At least I'm not doing a full-size keyboard. And you might notice that uh, three of the switches over here that I'm using are different than the rest of the switches. And that's because my dumbass uh, didn't do math properly. I'll go into it once I put that away. All right. So I looked at the box. These, these the glorious panda box. And then you can see, maybe, if it wants to... That the box has 36 switches. The ID75 has 75 switches. Hold on. Autofocus? Focus? Focus? Hello? Whatever. It'll focus on its own time. There it goes. Um, so I had to... Like, I didn't realize that... Like, I didn't put that in together until I was like getting ready so I was just like well I gotta find some stop gaps uh, so I just used some leftover xylence that I had from uh, my plank build here and they might stick out a little bit but not too bad concrete rectangle greater than plastic rectangle what Am I missing some context here? Fuck. God damn it, this switch doesn't want to open. This switch is about as bad at opening up as I am. Holy shit. Yeah, you're talking about easing on the keyboard spendings for your apartment. Ah, I see. I get it. I get it. Aha. That makes that makes sense. Yes. Concrete rectangle is greater than plastic rectangle. Concrete rectangle is shelter. Keyboard rectangle or plastic rectangle is hobby. That makes more sense. I forget what I was talking about. Like, as soon as I'm done saying it. So. Alright. All of the switches are done. We're done with that. Put that away. And now, on to the fun part. Okay, hold on. I gotta get rid of that. Move that off to the side. Here we go. Here's the keyboard. Yeah, I get that all the time, especially with the delay. Yeah. Alright. I haven't even, like, fully unboxed this. I've, like, partially unboxed it just to make sure that all the pieces, like, were in decent quality. But I haven't fully unboxed it yet. So that's the PCB. There's one of the feet. Oh, there's the other one. I was like, um, please tell me they sent me two. There's the case. 
Oh, cable. Nice. And no instructions. Cool. This will be interesting. Here's the case. Oh, they've got two interesting. Oh shit. We got two uh screws in here. To get all the pieces together. That's nice. There we go. Alright, and then Oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful hot swap. Is this correct? Yeah, that's correct. June 30th, cross-play and cross-progression on PC, Stadia, and Luna. Interesting. Alright. This is going to be some trial and error, folks. Probably this. I don't know what... None of these really big ones. I don't know what these are for. I think they just said July 22nd for all platforms. Is this the right one? Here, hold on. We're gonna take out the PCB. Ooh. Take a look there. Some of the anodized stuff was scraped off, but it's on the- oh, there too. It's on the inside, so it's not that big of a deal. No, that's not it. Like this one? No. Those are the only two screws, though. What the hell? What is going on here? Hold on, I'm gonna pull up uh, ID75. Alley Express? Maybe they'll have the instructions on the site that I, I said I got it. Two different screws, they're nearly the exact same diameter, it's easy to start screwing the wrong ones in the board. This cause you can- the assembly itself is easy on YouTube guide advice to put four switches, bottom. Um... Hold on, let's... ID... 75 build. And North Star starts next week. Cool. What? I don't... 
So there are two screws here, but it's hard, it's incredibly difficult to tell which ones go where. Oh. Has anybody made an ID 75 before? Any suggestions at all? Ooh, this frosting is a little... You can kind of see it in the light. It's a little meh. Going to lurk, going for dinner, have a nice stream. Awesome, thank you, small chungus. Have a nice dinner. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna set this in. I'm gonna set up. Put these in. Wow, these are kind of hard to get in. Oh shit, did I put those in wrong? Hold on. This probably isn't the best way to do it, but... Yeah. There we go. Ooh. Then pins down. There we go. There we go. Well, that works pretty good. Okay. Okay, I think the rounded ones are supposed to go here. I wish this was magnetized. This being the screwdriver. Oh boy. This is... Fuck. There we go. Where? Right over here. Come on. Awesome. We're getting there. There are almost an excessive amount of screws in this. There's so many, holy shit. There we go. And I believe one more. Just right there. Oh, 
All right. Just double check. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws just for the PCB. Is it just me or does that seem excessive? Um, then we'll do that, line that up. Oh, okay, I see. So these... I get it. You have no idea what I'm talking about, but you're invested in whatever I'm saying. I'll take it. Uh. That's a little awkward. The way that you have to go about doing these is a little awkward. Not too bad. Wait, we got we're turning that over. Giving one up keyboards free advertisement. Not in this house. Although they are, they are pretty good. We just don't get free advertisement here. Uh oh. My fingers are still a luby. <laughs> Ugh. Let's get this one in, and then we can, once we've got all these in, then we are going to start putting the switches in. And once we get the switches in, we put on the keycaps, and then we're done. See, once you get past the switches, then things just start to fly pretty quickly. It's already been what? Two and a half hours? Two hours, 40 minutes. I hope I didn't miss any screws. I know that it's a pretty common thing to skip screws, but I always feel like skipping screws can lead to bad things. If for no other reason than that's not how it was designed. There we go. Ooh, that seems nice. All right. Throw these extra ones in here. Won't be needing those. Well, I could put those bump-ons on the smaller side, maybe? There we go. Alright, let's populate these. Oh wait, wrong way. What? Jesus! These are rough. I feel like I'm gonna break this every time I push one in. Mildly terrifying. Oh. Um, I'm going to turn down the gain on the microphone just a little bit, just so that it's not, like, really awful when I push these in, because I'm sure it's peaking. No. Well, it doesn't look like it's peaking right now. Hold on, let's turn it up a little bit. I'm going to try to find a balance. Oh my god. Looks like we're good right now. This one's been glad I checked. 
That could have been really bad. Luckily, this is going to go faster because these are hot swaps and not, um, not solder, so I don't have to worry about soldering. So with, like, a non-hot swap, soldering probably takes about as long as the action, like, oh shit, like, moving up the switches. Oh my god. What? Oh, that one was rough. Look how orange it is. <laughs> oh. What's everyone's favorite color? Obviously mine is purple. If you like orange, this is a keyboard for you. Ooh, Ooh those are two bent pins. Cool. I love the difference in music. We went from Beach Blonde Baby to Start a Riot. Get you a playlist that can do both. Oh. We're so close. Oh. Come on. You have no bent pins. Oh, that one seemed a little rough. I guess when you have hot swap, I guess it makes sense to have a lot of screws because, like, you're going to be applying a decent amount of force to push them in. Getting there. I'm worried that I'm gonna have bent pins and uh, not notice and then just break them off. Especially since I don't, like, I'm already, like, I don't have a single switch to spare. At least with what I've, like, Prepared. I have some other switches that I could use, but um, I really don't want to use them. Like, having two switches is already a, a decent amount. <laughs> Adding more would just be kind of... Oof. Ooh, that one. That one hurt. For those of you who have, like, custom keyboards, what's the most switches you've, like, different types of switches you've had in a keyboard? I don't know. Like, the most I've ever had different is two. Actually, that's a lie. I've had three. But it was, like, my space bar was different, and then my uh, shift was different. Or my not uh, like anything that my pinky used on like the where you had to like like 
train your pinky, like, um, shift, like, basically this whole row and, like, this row were, uh, feather lights. And then the space bar was a tactile. The rest were linear. Made for an interesting typing experience. I quite enjoyed it, actually. Oh, you're straight. There we go. Oh my god, my thumb is in pain. Oh. Alright, so we gotta think about where we want to put the three weird switches. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, those are very bent. I need to grab some pliers real quick. Look how. Hold on. Look how bent that pin is. That is rough. And she's all better. Nice. Alright. Hope that's good enough to get them in. Yep, perfect. I guess we'll just throw these here for now, while we figure out where to put them. Just like temporary. Doug KB, thank you so much for the birthday wishes. Ooh, no, 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 no. Oh, Jesus. This is rough. Close enough. We're good. It's fine. Hopefully. All right. Now, everyone's favorite step. Let's move this out of the way, that out of the way. Here we've got these switches. Where's... I forgot how to open these. I think it's just from the side. Oh no. Come on! Come on! Come on! Uh, so sorry if I'm being rude now, but are you trans? I am trans, yes! I have the transgender tag. Um. That's cool. I'm happy that you're cool with it because some people are not. <laughs> All right. Whoop. Put that down. Look at how pretty these keycaps are. All right. Ooh. 
It wobbles a little. Oof. <laughs> Maybe it's not as bad as I thought it was. Ooh, listen to that. That sounds so good. Party. Ooh. IOP? Right? I help you? Yeah. I forgot that I literally have a, uh, keyboard right there to reference. I'm so smart. W-A-S-D? F-G-H? Well, these are. S Listen to that. Oh. What the heck? Why do these. Why are these. Like, these feel. These ones feel different. J and K? L. Semicolon. Okay, and then let's throw shift there. I know we're gonna have shift there. Probably enter there. Tab. Oof, I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do this layout. These keycaps look so cool. I'm really happy with this pickup. It's my, it's gonna be my first like majorly sculpted um keycap set. Like I have like I've done like GMK slash cherry, um, but I've never had something like this sculpted. And I know that this isn't even like super sculpted compared to like SA. So this is kind of like my test into sculpted without being like too too bad. How many keywords do I have? Uh, I've got this plank here. This one that I'm building. Um, I have two. So I have um, I got a Nyquist. I believe yeah, Nyquist set from um, what's it? Kibio. And I use each half as a gamepad. So one has speed silvers, and then one has speed bronze, which are the tactile ones. And then... Let's see. What else? Oh wait, that, that's, that one doesn't go there. Oh fuck. I just realized that's not the right profile. Um, and then... Ooh, that hurt. Um, and then I have one that I'm not using right now, and I've given to my boyfriend's brother, uh, because he was frustrated with his membrane keyboard, so I was like, well, I'm not using this one, so, like, feel free to take it, like, to, to borrow it. Oh, there we go. So he's using that, that's just, like, that was my first, um, like, what's it? like, more enthusiast, uh, keyboard. Uh, it was a... Oh, what was it? I can't remember what it was. Why am I struggling to remember what it was? Um... Whoop! That could have been bad. Oh, that. 
Uh, so I gave that to him. Whatever it was, I can't remember exactly. I'm going to need to figure out where to put that. And then... Wait, is this AJR? Yeah! Bro, I have the click, I have Neo Theater, and I have a OK Orchestra on this playlist. And I have Neo Theater and the click uh, in vinyl. Like, I have their vinyls. It's great. I fucking love it. Um, let's see, what else do I have? And then I have a broken Levinson keyboard from Kibio, which is uh, one of their split keyboards. Um, I've been trying to fix, like, I've been wanting to fix it, but I've just been too lazy to do so. Um, let's see. I think that's everything. Oh, come on. You saw their click tour in Toronto? I'm jealous. I wanted to see their click tour in Milwaukee, because they were coming to Milwaukee, and I had plans to, but then my friend bailed on me. And I was so upset. And then I wanted to see their... Actually, can I... Oof, big sad. It was an awesome first concert. I'm sure it was. That would be an amazing first concert. Hold on, I'm gonna do something to try. Yeah, okay, I didn't think so. It was worth a shot. I'm sure that was a great first concert. Oh, I... One of my first big concerts was Imagine Dragons on their, um... What is it? There were, like... The one that had, like, thunder and stuff on it. That was a pretty good first major concert. It wasn't my first concert, but it was my first, like, major concert. That was a pretty good one. Yeah, it was nice. This isn't the right one. Oh. This is the one thing about having profiled keycaps. There we go. I'm gonna put that there. Yeah. Okay, what am I gonna put here? I don't know what I'm gonna put here. So I need, it's like, this one. I have no clue. Alright. Control. Really wanna see Glorious Sons in concert? A baseball cat! Control. It generally goes Alt. That. Uh, we're gonna do. Function. I don't know where to put there. Looks like I need to get a new uh, artisan. Ah, uh, darn. Them's the rules. Not actually, I don't have the money for that. And then, so I've got that, and then I've got a, ooh, a numpad set. Because if you're getting a, like, ID75 or an XD75 and you're not throwing on a numpad, you're doing it wrong. Figuring out the layout for it, different story. Okay. So we're going to do one, two, right? That's the right height? Yeah. Three. 
four, five, six, seven. Oh, shit. Eight, nine. We'll put zero, 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 period. We'll do, I want to get numlock in there. So I want to be able to use this as like both a numpad and for Actually, no, I don't need numpad. I can just use a fucking layer. What am I on about? Um. Hmm. Yeah, that's definitely not the right. Um, I could do... I have no clue. Anybody have any ideas? Otherwise, what we could do is we could get rid of that and this. Move this over. an arrow cluster and then do control alt actually you know what we'll do That there. Nope, not that one. This one? Yeah. No. Nope. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh, I see. So these are just like deep dish for the home rows. That's nice. All right, I like. I'm I'm cool with that layout. Let's see. What I still don't know what to put up here though. I use, let's see, I use delete a decent amount. Actually, I should probably do, like, times, I swear I was hearing somebody in Discord, um, minus, plus, or, I should probably do that the other way, huh? I need a higher profile plus. I'll just do that. I'm gonna put that there. Wait. That's not the right profile! God damn it. Ooh, that is a tall keycap. Look how tall that keycap is. Holy shit. Like, the puller is like right on the edge of where of what it can pull. Hold on. 
Just making sure that all the profiles are right. You can see. I guess I could do equals. Yeah. Thoughts? Thoughts on that layout? I think it's workable. I need to figure out where to put an enter key. Enter is kind of an important key. Oh, what I could do, take that back, put that enter key in. Uh, let's remove this bolt. Ooh, I almost just spilled all the keycaps. Holy shit. That would not have been fun. <laughs> Move over this control. Shift all these over one. And then up. I wish I had more things that were colorful. I can make it work though. Alright. I like this layout. Find this layout workable. Ideal? Maybe not. Workable? Definitely. Let's throw this away again. There we go. Oh no, come on. Then here. No. Yeah. And we'll put these all away. Ooh, there we go. All set. Oh my god. Alright, hold on. Pause. We're gonna bring this mic. Listen to that fuck. I am very happy with this build. Yes. All right. Let me move this away so it's not as obnoxious. You can hear my voice more than you can hear the keyboard. All right. I actually need this. Um, one moment. I'm gonna steal this. Ooh, this is gonna be rough to get out, isn't it? Alright. 
So now, let's go ahead and get this programmed. I'm just going to throw in the default. Um, so PMK toolbox. And then I'm looking for ID 775. That's not good. Uh, my score firmware. So I'm looking for keyboards. Oh, was it default 75? Is that what I'm looking for? Well, let's try to find one that... I like. Or something similar to this one. What? Oh, here we go. I was like, um... Hmm. I'm gonna music back up for a minute. There we go. This is not what I want. This is an interesting layout. Here, what if we just go to and find Dobo default? What is this? Just as long as I don't deal with anything over there, it'll be fine. Oh, okay. That's oh, already. Are you done? Uh, flash, flash when ready. Ooh. Wait, actually, hold on. Can I type with this? No, it does not. Where? Is there, there better be, there's a physical reset button, yeah? ID 75 flashing. Yeah. Oh, my bad.
Um, yeah, let's go to Google. How the hell do you flash this? Song switches, keycap typing sounds. Um. Interesting. Keycap installation typing sounds. Where did where did the flashing come in? Oh wait, no, that's not what I want. Hmm. I don't hold on. I'm gonna take off the back here and switch over to back over to game or to this. So there was a what I think was a button on the back here that might have been the uh the reset button there's one thing I had to um critique it's that there's no instructions. Which makes it kind of difficult to really know what's going on. Yeah, this this has to be the reset button. Sorry, I just had to sneeze. Ooh. Okay. Flash when you're ready. Is this the... Does anybody know what the... Controller on it is. Oh, it's Mega Thirty Two U Four. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're good. All right. There we go. Nice. Well, that's not it. Uh... Where's the backspace? There it is. Alright, let's get this back back on. And then we'll actually take a look at that default. And then... 
we can work on setting up a uh, actual firmware. Just claimed. <laughs> Thanks for that sentient. Much appreciated. <laughs> oh shit. Did I drop it in did I drop it somewhere? Not again! All right. Huh? More. Bullshit. I love how I went from a Corsair K70, so a full-size keyboard, uh, to a 10 keyless, to a 40%, to a 75 key. I can't make up my goddamn mind. Oh my god, that sound. It's so good. And it looks so... These keycaps are going to be a joy to type on. Alright. But we need to make... We're going to set that off to the side right now. And then I'm going to switch over to chatting. Oh, shoot. Mistakes were made. Well, I gotta I got some setup stuff that I need to do real quick. Close that, close that, that. Uh reopen this and then Emaps. Tools. Emap. Alright, so I'm looking for tabs. This is... what? You see... Left shift... Oh boy, this is going to be... Bit of hell. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Zero. This is. Ah. Uh, yet. Yeah, yeah. space. This is. Equal this oh shit underscore M I N S and um I forget is it A S T asterisk what is asterisk again thank you okay K Humanitation. Key codes. Where are the key codes? Give me the codes. Where is it? Did I miss it? Minus equal
Was? I don't want P asterisk, I just want asterisk. Damn, what? There's no way. I know that the fullest. Audio, boot magic, no, dynamic. Mouse, modifiers, mod tap, RGB. What? Paste, press forward, master. Oh, ASTR. Okay, there we go. DR. Oh, it was literally right there. Oh my god, I'm so fucking dumb. Where even, where was that? I don't even see where that was. Um, oh, I have a lot of these key maps open. Hold on, let me let's just close all these. There we go. Um, and then this is D Y. No, stop. You. I. O. P. Um. B. S. O. S. Right, I believe. Uh. D. Seven. Eight. B nine. Go. G. Uh, H. J. No, that's not it. Pay. L. Uh, oh shit, what a semicolon. Wait. Aha! That's the line. And then this is... Oh shit, what is... What is that quote? That. That... Two U O T. Okay, where'd it go? Oh, is it this one? No. Two U O T. And this is P four P five and P six. And then over, back over here, we have uh, N, M, um, dot, and SLSH, uh, and T R D D one D two and P three. Okay. 
This bottom is just going to be weird as hell. So. Okay, so we got left control. No. This is. MO. Und un underscore. <laughs> FN. Uh. Left. D. DL. Left. GUI. Left. Or. Uh, KC underscore L alt. Why is space under V? What the hell? Oh wait, I guess I don't need raise and lower though. I just thought about that. Hmm. I guess I'll do... I guess I can just keep this MO... There's multiple of them? Space. I'm so confused. This is SBC. This is MO underscore FN. This is left. Down. Up. Right. Our, uh, our, what is, what is right arrow? <laughs> RGHT. see underscore RGHT. Wait, I'm missing something. Ah, shit. I'm gonna get rid of that, and then here we're gonna put PC underscore RCTL, right control. And then this is going to be E0, and this is going to be E dot. There we go. Nice. So that's that at least. And then the next layer, I like the function, but I don't like it like that. So we're getting rid of three there. Just throw these in for now. Hmm. I kind of want to make that, like, the, like, TKL cluster right here. Hold on, let's get rid of... Get rid of this. Resets right there. Yeah, shit. Um, I should use Hoggle mode. Uh, 
here, we're, we're here, we're gonna do KC underscore, uh, left. KC underscore down. KC underscore RGHT. KC underscore, uh, up. And then, this, I want to be up here, and then I need, like, okay, so now we're going to do, right here, these ones. KC, so under print screen, oh shit, how does that normally look? Hold on. Full size keyboard. Not that kind of keyboard. This kind of keyboard. So it's insert delete. KC underscore. So, is the underscore end home HME home page up page down. Oh, that's not the one. What? But me, thank you. Uh, but that, 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 that. Sure. Now, if you go back to QMK Toolbox, oh wait, I need to compile this first, so we're going to go to QMK Emsys, waiting, there we go, uh, QMK Compile, KB, uh, Ido, Idobo, KM, Shoeless. Let's see if it works. I hope it does. No, oh, I hate this waiting game. Come on! Blazing Noodles, thank you so much for the follow! I don't know why this isn't working. Come on. While we're waiting, I'm gonna put my uh, keycaps away. Making there we go. Okay. Oh, okay. Um. Well. Seventy-five arguments, but only seventy-four given. D forty-four two. Fuck. Undeclared here in a not in a function. Forty four. Hold on, let's. Okay. Do we do? Oh, 
Ah. That'll do it. Love when you miss a comma. My favorite. Let's try this again. God damn it. Oh, um, it doesn't know what enter is. Is that? Oh, it's just ENT. My bad. Again. All right, looks like we're going to be good now. Missing a... We missed a comma, and we missed... Misspelled a key code. Honestly, not bad. All right. And then... Open... Hex. Uh, does anybody remember? Hold on, let's open up the default and find out where that goddamn reset button is. Is there no reset button? You're joking. God damn it. I gotta unscrew it again? Fucking hell. No rest. We're so close. If I can get this done by four, I'd be pretty happy. Four CDT, that is. And then... Alright, and then you will... Flash when you're ready. There we go. Okay. Oh, shit. I'm gonna try. What? Uh... Let 
That's not a good sign. God, this is loud. Like, fucking loud. There we go. Oh, there's the escape. Okay, I see. That is working. Oh, that's not meant to be escape. Oh, okay, that's just asterisk. What the heck is going on here? That scared the fuck out of me. Um, what? Are there multiple versions? Hold on. What is wrong with this? Oh, this one's supposed to be uh G O V Grav. Oh I think I figured out It's because Numlock isn't on, I'm gonna I think. Hold on, let's try this again. Where do I have the reset button? Right above enter? Okay. Try that. Okay. I just want to make sure. Yeah. Flash one ready. Um, I don't, why is the flash one ready not working? Whatever. Um, okay. Let's try the tester again. Here. Reset. He's still not working. Hey, still not working. Enter's working. Seven's still not working. Rob is working now. Escape is still questionable. Shift. 
Windows is working. Oh, control. All right, so this seven, the seven on my like that I have on my numpad area is working. All right, there we go. That's all working. So now. Okay, so F8, because F7 isn't working, I'm going to reseat everything that didn't have, that wasn't working properly. So let's take off, hold on, let's take that off. I'm going to switch to this. And so we're going to take off the keycaps of K. Oh! That'll do it. That'll do ya. Uh, and then P. And 7. And I'm also going to pull out Escape as well. That one was also questionable. Oh, Jesus. We're good. All right, and then I'm going to test it. Come on. Why is this not... Oh wait, I shouldn't. There we go. God damn it. The P's not working still. We're gonna, we're just gonna go ahead and skip this song. Oh, that, that's a bent and a half pin. There we go. Much better. This pin right here was like curled, like it was like hooked. This one's just straight up flattened. So this one's going to be a little bit of a struggle to get. Add a little bit. All right, so there we go. Maybe? Hey, the K works! Hell yeah, let's go. Right, now we'll take that off again. Okay. 
All right, the escape is working fine. What the heck? That's so weird, what the fuck? Seven is working, so the only one that's not working is P. Let's give it a look see again. Hold on. This key this switch puller is awful. I know I have a better one somewhere. Give me a second. Where the hell is it? I swear it's like around my desk area. Oh, there it is. I found it. It's got a little bit more meat to it. There we go. Hmm. Well, let's give something a try. Uh, let's take a switch from something we know works. Like, we know this switch works, so let's steal from that. Okay, so it's it's the switch itself. Oh, that's that's not right. There we go. All right, that's working. All right, let's see what's going on with this. Word. There it is. Switch opener. I wonder if the little copper in here just isn't moving enough? This might have been that switch that I put on backwards, so it kind of smushed it. Hold on. I'm trying to do like a reverse player's move here. And instead of squeezing something together, use like a sheet metal to get in and push things apart. It's 
This might work. Hold on. Give it a shot. There's the housing. There it is. Don't put it on backwards this time. I almost did it again. There we go. Look at me. This still isn't consistent. Come on, let's take a look at this switch. I'm gonna guess that this is the switch because it works sometimes, but not all the time. Let's try to do something similar. Let's see if that works. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's go. All right, let's recheck everything. All right. Testing both space bars, testing both controls. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, dot, awesome. Um, escape works, shift works, enter works. Let's check. Let's check all of these. Awesome. I think that's everything. I think we're done. I just need to re-screw this in. And then the build is done. Come on, get in there. We're so close. There we go. I might need a little cheat sheet for the, uh... RGB toggle buttons. Aside from that, I think I know the layout pretty well. It's pretty basic. And, of course, I can always change it. Perks of QMK. All right, everything is working now. All right, let's see. Nope, oh, that's not what I wanted. I want the mode. What is the mode? Alright, let's close that. Let's see what the... Where is the mode? Oh. 
There we go. This is this looks pretty cool. I know you guys can't really see it because of the lights, but these are pretty pretty awesome. Right, I just want to get back to static. That's blinking. Not what I want. No. I'll get there eventually. There we go. Back to static. All set. Awesome. I hope I'm going to like this, because this seems like it's going to be a very enjoyable keyboard. Alright, let's close out of everything then. Close all of the things! There we go. Alright. Well... I think... I'm going to end stream there. Um... I really only had the idea of building the keyboard, and I'm going to spend the rest of the evening with my family. Oh, Raven, the the perfect, perfectly wrong timing. I just finished the keyboard build and getting, like, all of the little kinks fixed, and, of course, as I figure all of the things out, you, you come back. I'm sorry. Um, but, uh, I want to spend the rest of the, my night with my family because, you know, I like it. Yeah, I really like how it turned out, and I really like how clean it is. I like how it types. Here, hold on. I'll give you a little typing test before, because I don't think you were here for it. For all of anybody who wasn't here when we were doing the typing test... Yes. It's less of a click and more of like a fuck. And like it's a very, it's like a deeper sound. Which is why I wanted these instead of like a, like the clicky switches. I quite enjoy it. It is gorgeous. Um, but I do have somebody in mind to raid. Uh, so I'm going to send you over to Pinash. Pat, Pat. Panash? I can I never remember how to pronounce it. Uh hold on. We'll switch over to this. Oh shit. Uh turn that off. Oops. So we're gonna go ahead and give Panash a nice raid. Actually, I lied. We're we are raiding Vortami. Vortami's amazing. I love Vortami. They're so chill. Hold on. There we go. All right. Thank you all for chilling and hanging out. I hope you enjoyed. If you have, if you did enjoy and you haven't done so yet, please do consider dropping a follow. Uh, we're getting pretty close to the, our follow goal of 100. We're at 84 right now. But aside from that, I hope you enjoy chilling, and uh, I hope I, you have a nice night, and I hope to see you again on... Uh, probably Tuesday. That'll probably be the next time I stream, because I work every day until then, so. I, um, yeah, aside from that, have a nice night, and, uh, I will see you later.